Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and um, today is Sunday special project and I am going to um, do some more watercolouring. So first of all, thank you so much to all the new subscribers. I've had over a uh, hundred more of you lovelies join um, my channel for crafty um, tutorials since reaching a thousand so thank you so so much and uh, thank you to all the people that comment um, and join in in lives and things like that so this is um, being scheduled um, Sunday night at six o'clock for a um, live crafty chat the video is pre-recorded um, but I'll chat along with you um, while the video is playing so, for those of you that don't know, I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Scotland. Um, now, I cover the whole of the UK and also some parts of Europe, such as Germany, France, Netherlands. And um, you're all welcome to shop through me via my online shop, which is in the description box. So, what I am going to attempt to make is a motivational card, given the awful circumstances that we're all under across the globe just now and um, it's really quite sad it's mother's day today and um i haven't been able to see either of our mums and um, which is which is not nice so i'm going to use um the beautiful moments klein stamp set so i'm going to use this it's going to be quite a simple card and we're going to use a good morning magnolia sentiment like so Okay, so I think that's lovely. Um, Mother's Day cards that I've made for my our parents was this one that you might have seen yesterday, which is a little exploding box using the best dressed suite. And let me get the lid back on. Wasn't that adorable? And this one that I made as well. So it's very, they're very um, beautiful, both from the best dressed suite. So. I hope they like them when they get them. <laughs> right, so I am using Fluid 100 watercolour paper, which is available out of the annual catalogue. Absolutely lovely. So I am going to use my... I'm not using my um, foam mat. Um, stamping pierced mat. I am going to use my stamper at because I need to actually stamp in... Stays on. So that none of the outline smudges. So when I, I made a previous um, watercoloured project, which was this one, and whilst I was stamping the sentiment in the um, stays on, I made a mistake because this stamp is um, photopolymer, so it's thinner than our normal red rubber cling. And when I stamped it in the Stamparatus, I forgot to put the foam mat in. So, my foam mat is in my Stamparatus, and I will take it in and out as necessary, depending on which stamp. Now, these are both red rubber, so that's fine. The stamping mat comes out. So, I'll get that organised first. Hang on, this is upside down, that's... Not so good for my um, OCD. Right, so let's get a magnet on there and a magnet on the bottom. Make sure I'm on shot. Now, the dogs are next door and they're having a little bit of a carry on, so I do apologise if you can hear them. They're little monkeys at times. Right, so quite an easy project. So I do want this kind of to the side, okay, and I'm going to add some flourishes in here as well. I'm um, not sure how they'll colour, I may need to use my stamping blends or my um, stamping right markers. So we'll do the big image first, so I'm placing it where I want it on the card, lifting it up and we're going to apply some of the stays on ink, which is very stinky. Um, it reminds me of marzipan. Can you smell it? <laughs> Come on, be honest. Who tried to smell it there? I'm having a wee kiddie on with yous. Right. 
So we need some more on here. I may possibly need to re-ink this. I had to pause the video there and go and separate the dogs because we're having too much of a carry on. And my older girl, um, she's sometimes in the mood for carrying on with her daughter, sometimes she isn't. So I'm just presuming today that she isn't. Now I have stays on cleaner that I want to use as we go along. Now you need to be careful with this because especially if you're using um, the red cling stamps because if you put too much on and it seeps under it may um, discolour the foam underneath. And if you like me you'll like things all nice and clean. So let's pop that away. Let's add our little flourishes. Now, I do like this T-zone because um, it's just really, really bold. Now, I don't know if I want to add that on, actually. I think I'll add one on to the side. I know it's going to go on here, but it will come off with the stays on cleaner. So I'm not worried about that. Oh, lovely, lovely. Right, where else do I want it? Put it here. And then we'll overlap it at the side as well. Okay. Like so. Beautiful, beautiful. Now you can clean these to remove the ink, no problem. It's just the, some of the staining that occurs. It's not the greatest. So I will clean it last. Right, I know you can't see this in shot, don't worry. That's my dog away lying down now. Bless her little cotton socks. Oh, that's lovely. Do you like that? I may add in some of her, the lovely little, um, what do you call it? birds and things as well or some of these lovely little butterflies I shall see we shall see how it looks once it's all coloured now I am not by any means um, an expert in watercolour in I've just had a little shot for the first time um, probably um, the other day but I was really happy with how things turned out so Right, I've cleaned that little stamp. Okay. Right, what I want to do is I am just going to add the sentiment just now. Okay. The journey of life is best shared with a friend. We'll get through this together. And I'm going to just pop that up there. I quite like it when the sentiment is on the stamping layer. Some cards I like to layer it up, some I don't. So I think this one will be fine. And I'm popping it up there so I can add some other images in here. Okay, now that's not as dark as I'd like it. Like so. Lovely. Let me show you close. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I am running behind in terms of my 1,000 subscriber competition. So, what I am going to do is do a video um, and give away one of the items that I earned personally through Celebration. So, watch out for that post. Now, unfortunately, it will be restricted to... Um, UK only for postage. Um, I hope you understand that if I were to say, um, send it overseas, it would cost quite a lot of money for me and I really can't afford that just now. However, I would send you a card. Okay, so the prize is, if I can find it, I did accidentally use one of the stamps, but um, I cleaned it and put it in. You would never know. So this is brand new. This is the Power of Hope um, Celebration Bundle. So I'd like to gift this away to one person. 
um, and it will be for subscribers that are on my channel. So one of you guys will win this, um, but I'll do a separate post, okay? And um, I do apologise that I've been a little bit late um, in terms of um, doing the competition. I've just, with my illness and things like that, things have just kind of run away. Um, I hope you like. I am going to use the Seaside Spray and Rococo Rose for the, the two dresses there. I am also going to use, um, let me see now, I think I'll use Crumb Cake for the skin tone. Um, and I think I shall use, um, I'm not sure for their hair, maybe, maybe, maybe I will express so. And soft suede, soft suede for the little girl, so we'll see. Right, so, that is the card. Okay, now I just need to clean this. So I'm just going to apply some. Stays on. See how it dilutes the um, the ink really, really easily. And we just clean that off. Lovely, lovely. Oh, really strong magnets. So do watch your wee fingers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my deluxe foam mat back in and close it. And I'm going to pop these in the little storage section that I just found out about about eight weeks ago. <laughs> Better late than never. Better late than never. So this is the card. I think I'll layer it up with... Um, I think we'll do a seaside spray coloured card and we'll layer it up with a piece of black, maybe. I don't know if you've noticed, I've got my... Amy support band on. This is awesome. So yesterday, I was in my bed from half past four in the afternoon. All because I walked to the shop. Um, so it's just proof that I, I can't walk any distance. The shop's quite close. And um, yeah, that was a bit of a pain. So... If you see me at the shops without a car, please be known that I will be bedded later on. Right, I'm going to just zoom in. I don't know if I'll use that, actually, because it's quite a layer. I do need to use a mat, though. So, let me... Let me grab a mat. It's been so long since I've used these. So I'll use one of my lovely floral grid papers. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful. Right, okay. So, let's go. Oh, they've just fell down. Hang on a second. Right, so what I need is a block. I'm going to get a big block out. And I'm going to add some ink onto that direct. Okay, so this is it here. So I'm just going to open up the... Rococo Rose. I do have some kitchen roll to the side there. So that's all you need is that amount. Let me zoom out a little bit. And I am going to go with some seaside spray. Okay, so I'm just going to add a little bit of that on there. It's quite hard to see. And I'm going to add a little bit of crumb cake here on the side. We don't need a lot of that neither because there's only two pairs of legs and two, two pairs of arms. I'm going to add soft suede. You don't need to use your actual ink refills to do this because um, this uses a far less ink. Like I've got it all over me already. And a tiny bit espresso. Ta-da! Beautiful! Right, so I have my aqua painters. These come in a pack of two. We have a large brush tip and a smaller one. So I'm going to use a smaller one today. The large one's good for bigger images such as the Good Morning Magnolia 
Right, let's go. Let's go. Put the big one out the way. So I'm just going to add some water in the middle. Okay. Right, so let's add a little bit of Coco Rose. It's a bit too wet for my liking. Beautiful. I like that. And then I can add some darker pieces in. Wow, I love that. I love how it just comes out like that. Beautiful. I don't know if you can see that as well as I can. It just flows right through. Very nice, very nice. This is quite therapeutic actually. So we're just going for a look dark on that side, lighter on that side. Excuse me, you could hear a dog having a little stretch and groan to herself. So I'm just emphasising a little bit more darkness around the creases. Quite good for indicating where the um, where the natural lines are in her dress. So let me see if you can see that. It's lovely, lovely. And at this point, if you want, you could add some wink of Stella. Where is mine? Here it's here. I really need to get a new one. So I'm basically just going to add a little bit of sparkle to this beautiful lady's dress. Can you see that okay? What I'll maybe do is I'll think I'll bring down my my lamp so it's closer. The dog through the backs barking to herself. Stay, whoopsie. Oh, she's away through, never mind. Never mind. We're now going to get no peace. Right, so I'm just going to wash that. You can see the colour comes out very easily. Okay, so let's do the seaside spray now on the little girl. I just want it quite discreet. Okay, so that's the most of the colour added. I'll just dry the brush a little minute. Alright, so I've just dried my brush quickly there. I just want to add some darker pieces. Let me dry the brush even more. It's quite hard to see on um, camera. However, it is looking good. And the key is, I think, when you're watercolouring, is to keep all the shading at the same, the same direction, if you know what I mean. So we're just going to add some Wink of Stella, like so. Lovely, jovely. Lovely, jovely. Right, now for... Let me clean this off. Can you see how good that cleans? Do, do, do. No blue on it. Let's say, uh, oh, is that a dog here? Blimmin' is. Get everywhere. <laughs> right, one. Just quite discreet for the crumb cake, okay? On mum and daughter. It's quite nice actually. I've always wanted to take up um, watercolour in, but I don't know why I've put, been putting it off really. Look at that. Look how easy that is. And I've went slightly out here where the uh, there's a gap in the stamped image. I'm not worried too much. Work colouring's not meant to be perfect, is it? 
Right, I'm just going to make, try and get some shadowing on here, on each of our legs. Oh, I'm having so much fun doing this. Never hear me so quiet. Well, I know I'm talking, but um, at least I'm taking pauses to breathe. <laughs> oh, dearie me, what am I like? I hope you're having a good day. And happy Mother's Day to you. And happy Mother's Day to all the mummies in heaven. Right, so. The little faces now. Like so. I think that is lovely. I do like that. I do like that. Right, so that's that clean. Right, let's go for the hair. A bit close to the crumpy colour. Let's make it a little bit darker. Beautiful. And if I can, I'll add a little colour of um, Rococo Rose for her little bow. Let's try that. Yep. Yes, you can see that just... Lovely. And can you see I picked off all my um, gel nails? Not good for your nails doing that. I would not recommend it. Right, now, Mama Bear is going to have dark hair. Can you hear my dog? She's such a good dog. Both of them are. Right, okay. I think that looks lovely. Quite impressed with that. Now the key is for me not to mess it up now. <laughs> okay, right, I'm cleaning that off. So, what I think I'll do is get my little um, oh, cloth. I'm going to move this out of the way just now. Okay, and we're going to try and colour these. Um, I want to add some... I want to add some yellow and we need some green so I'm going to go, I'm going to go with them um, old olive for the grass area and I'm not sure about that I might use I think I'll use so saffron so I'm just going to grab another block and we shall add so saffron onto there. Now that I've not used this one a lot, so it's really inky, which is nice. We'll pop some. Oh, what am I doing? I'm shutting it. We'll pop some old olive on as well. Don't need a lot. Do not need a lot. I may use some crumb cake to emphasise some sand down here or, or maybe just um, keep it green. Now I'm not the best at keeping in the lines so I'm going to have to concentrate a little bit here folks. Chat amongst yourselves. Lovely. This is so nice. Now, when you're showing a technique like watercolour, and you do need to do it step by step, so you may want to skip to the end product if you are um, a good watercolourer. Colour -er. <laughs> you're good at watercolouring, rather. I need to get my grammar right. I think that's quite nice. All right, let's see for the old olive. I'm just wanting to um, kind of, let me get my, I want to take it all the way down to the bottom. So it is quite wet. That's absolutely fine. I want minimal colour at this stage. Okay. 
And then we will add in Look at that, that's gorgeous. We will add in some colour. Now I'm just using the tip to kind of give a grass effect. You can see how this just flows into the rest of the card. I do like that. Beautiful. Let's see, does it need a little bit more colour down here? Possibly. And the thing is, you could just splatter it on and it kind of, the, the watercolour paper draws it down. That's quite nice. Don't want any white space though. Beautiful. I think I'm happy with that. Really, really beautiful. Now what you could do is you could take it further and maybe add some sky. What I'll do is I am going to use the seaside spray. Now I'm going to cheat and just, hang on, I'm going to cheat and just use what's in and here so I just want to give a kind of discreet blue outline around them for this guy it's very discreet let me get some of this on here just added some sky in between well I'm adding some blue in between our flowers and foliage there let me see if I can squeeze that I don't think I can oh yeah there we go there we go lovely Just taking it right to the edge. Okay. Just adding some blue around the corners. It's up to you if you want to do this or not. Waiting the whole card now. This will flow in better. Mm -hmm. All right, now I think you need a little um. Blend that out a bit here. You can't see it very well, but it's very discreet. Just very discreet. So I've just got tiniest, tiniest shade of blue. And I can go right across my stays on as well. So I'm filling in some white space there. But of course, because it's wet, I am going to um, dry it now. Right, so I just want to emphasise some more blue around around the images, the bodies there. Don't know if this is 
getting worse or better, but it looks nice. Right, can't see it very well on camera. I'm just going to dry this wet bit off. Okay. I think that is it. I'm going to clean my brush. There we go. Ready for the next project. Lots of water in it still. Alright, now, if I grab my glue gun, I'll give it a little dry, okay? So please excuse the, the noise. I just want to dry it off before I adhere it. And I've not got a Stampin' Up um, heat gun. Not heat gun, heat tool yet. So, warping a little bit, but it goes back to its normal colour, pretty uh, normal way um, shape, pretty good. There we go. Turn that off, put that away there now. I've got a little drawer down beside me, I just chuck it in so I do know where it is. There we go. I think that turned out okay. So let's um, pop it on a card. So I need some, I need some seaside spray. That's for sure. So what I think I shall do is I have got a layer here. I think I'll layer it up on a, a white card base. Now my whisper light is here. So let me do that. Just cut it then out. I think it'll look nice on white. If I can pick my trimmer up, my hands are a bit funny today. Right, so this is just going to be a standard A5. This is UK size, so if I cut in half it, five and seven eighths, and then score it at 4.1, or you could just fold it in half, whatever you like. This layer needs to be four inches by four inches by five and seven eighths, no, five and three quarters. Okay, now I do have a little bit that's um, been overcut previously, but I'm not worried about that. I'm not going to waste it. Right, so. I'm going to pop that on here, like that. And it's just a tiniest of little borders. Let me get my bone folder. Now, I know we're at half an hour, but this is a Sunday special project, and I do like to chat, chat, chat with you all on a Sunday. Um, apologies for missing the um, Simple Stamping project yesterday. I have just not had the um, energy, I'm afraid. So, this goes this way. So we're just going to line that up, pop it down, beautiful, now I think what I want to add on here is some of the seaside spray ribbon, I think I'll add something there, okay so what I like to do with that, I just like to Cut what I need. Okay. So, and I use my snail to um. Let me see what is it now. I use the snail to stick the ribbon on, like so. And I just wrap it around. Now that needs to move down a little bit, but that's okay. We're going here. Don't want it too close to the lady's head. So make sure that's straight and then stick it down. Lovely! Now to tie a little bow. I think I might just add a square knot type bow. 
if I can do it. So all I'm going to do is a little bow like that. Not the best square knot or whatever you call it, but I think it'll do. So I'm just going to manipulate that to how I want it. Give it a nice fresh cut. That's fine. Now I'm just going to add that on there with a little glue dot. Glue dot, glue dots. Glue dots. Really happy how this turned out. Okay, the glue dot's just stuck to my finger. Right, so let's just pop that on there. That tiny little angle. I think that's quite pretty. Okay, right, since my snail's out, let's just um, add it on with snail. So make sure the card's the right way. Again, it's an eighth of an inch difference in the layers. Yay, it didn't go squint. And there is our little card. I think that turned out quite nice. Okay, folks, that is the tutorial over. I need to go and wash all my blocks, tidy up a little bit, go make a fresh coffee. Thank you so much for chatting. And um, don't be scared to use um, your watercolouring skills on a card. Um, if you've not watercolour, just... Have a couple of goes and then that's you. Another lovely little technique to um, use on cards. Really therapeutic. Completely um, chilled me out this morning. Because um, this was recorded earlier on today. Um, so thank you so much. And um, I will speak to you all soon. Uh, please stay safe. I'm um, really worried about everyone. Um, but all we can do is follow government guidelines. And um, keep ourselves and others safe. Take care now and I'm always here to chat. Feel free to message me if you're um, uh, just wanting a little blather. Um, I'm on Facebook as Trisha Smith. Um, please look me up, add friends and let's keep in touch. Okay folks, see you later and goodbye.